إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد اللهم صل وسلم على نبينا محمد عليه السلام صلاة تدوم وتهدى إليه ممارا ليالي وطول دوام أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا فتحنا لك فتحا مبينا ليغفرك الله ما تقدم من ذنبك وما تأخر ويتم نعمته عليك ويهديك سراطا مستقيما وينصرك الله نصرا عزيزا لقد جاءكم رسول من أنفسكم عزيز عليه ما نتم حريص عليكم بالمؤمنين رعوف الرحيم فإن تولوا فقل حسبي الله لا إله إلا هو عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش العظيم إن الله وملائكته يسلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الفاتحة لنا ولكم يا حاضرون ووالدنا ووالدكم وحالنا وولادنا ولمن شاخنا ولمن حضرنا ولمن غاب عنا وليحيائنا ولمواتنا وللمواذبين على هذا المجلس ولمن كان سببا في جمعنا بأن الله الكريم ينفر القلوب ويغفر الذنوب ويستر الهيوب ويحفظنا بما حفظ به الذكر وينصرنا بما نصر به الرسول وأن الله الكريم يجعل مجلسنا هذا محاطا بالخيرات المسرات والأنوار والبركات ويقضي لنا جميع الحاجات بجاه خير البريات وأن الله ينصر المسلمين وعلى نيتنا الله الكريم ينصر سلطان الأولياء مولانا الشيخ محمد ناظم عادل حقاني قدس الله السر بجاه خير الأنام وعلى كل نيات صالحة ما حسن الخاتمة عند الموت بعد عمر المديد في طاعة الله وإلى حضرة النبي بسر سورة الفاتحة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أنت سلطاننا يا ربنا اغفر لنا وارحمنا وتب علينا وزد حبيبك سيد الأفضلين والآخرين سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم زده يا رب عزا وشرافا ونورا وسرورا وسلطانا ورضوانا رغما في الشيطان ومن تبيه عباد الله رجال الله غيصونا بأهل الله فكونوا عوننا في الله وسنحظى بفضل الله ويا كتاب ويا أنجب ويا سادات ويا أحباب وأنتم يا
مدد مدد يا سيد مدد 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 يا رسول الله مدد يا أبو بكر زيدي مدد يا عمر فاروق مدد يا عثمان غاني مدد يا إمام مدد مدد يا رسول الله مدد يا فاطمة زهراء مدد يا إمام حسن مدد يا إمام حسين مدد يا سلمان فارسي مدد 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 يا سيدي مدد 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 يا رسول الله مدد يا قاسم مدد يا صادق مدد يا بالسامي مدد يا قرقاني مدد 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 يا رسول الله مدد يا فرمادي مدد يا حمداني مدد يا خيرارو مدد يا غدواني مدد يا عارفون مدد يا فغناوي يا سيدي مدد 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 يا رسول الله مدد يا رمي ثاني مدد يا سماسي مدد يا أمي كولال مدد 
يا رب صل على محمد يا رب صل عليه وسلم يا رب صل على محمد يا رب صل عليه وسلم يا رب بلغه الوسيلة يا رب خصه بالفضيلة يا رب ورد عن الصحابة يا رب ورد عن السلالة يا رب صل على محمد يا رب صل عليه وسلم يا رب صل على محمد يا رب صل عليه وسلم يا رب ورد عن المشايخ يا رب فرحم والدينا يا رب ورحمنا جميعا يا رب ورحم كل مسلم يا رب صل على يا رب صل على محمد يا رب صل عليه وسلم يا رب واغفر لكل مسلم يا رب يا سامع دعاء يا رب لا تقطع رجانا يا رب بلغنا نزوره يا رب صل على محمد يا رب يا رب صل على محمد يا رب صل عليه وسلم يا رب وارزقنا شهادة يا رب هدنا بالسعادة يا رب وصل كل مسلم يا رب وقف كل مسلم يا رب صل على Inshallah, on the Urdu Kawali book, not 36, sorry, not 36. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Allah, 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 Allah. जगराज को ताज तुरे सर सो जगराज को ताज तुरे सर सो है तुझ को शहे तो सरा जाना ला मन बेकसूतुफन हो 
शरुबा मझदार में हो बिगड़ी है हवा मझदार में हो बिगड़ी है हवा मोरे नैया पार लगा जाना अल्लाह अल्लाह अरजे बकुने या शौस नजार तिला लैली चुंबत बरसे अरजे बकुने थोड़ी जोट के झल झल जग में रचे थोड़ी जोट के झल झल जग में रचे मेरे शब ने न दिन हो ना जाना अल्लाह अल्लाह जमल खत हाल आए में जोल फबर अजल कबरन फिल वज हिल जमल खत हाल आए में जोल फबर अजल थोड़े चंदन चंद रबर कुंदल थोड़े चंदन चंद रबर कुंदल रहमत की भरन भर साजाना अल्लाह अल्लाह करम मन पियत शिव सखा का जम के सुय पाके अबर करम बर सन हारे रिम झिम रिम झिम बर सर हारे रिम झिम रिम झिम दो बूंद इधर बिगिरा जाना अल्लाह अल्लाह जो दिल जार चुना जा देर चुनो पत अपने भपत में कास कहो पत अपने भपत में कास कहो मेरा कौन है तेर सिवा जाना अल्लाह शोला दे घर पर जन शिकारो फिदा कपजित हर कायक शोला दे घर पर जन शिका मोर तन मन धन सब भोग दिया मोर तन मन धन सब भोग दिया ये जान भी प्यार चला जाना अल्लाह 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 on the Urdu Kowali book, Naat 20, page 51. Khabar-e tahayyur-e-ishq sun Khabar-e tahayyur-e-ishq sun Na junu raha na pari rahi Na junu raha na pari rahi Na tutu 
तू रहा न तो मैं रहा न तो तू रहा न तो मैं रहा जो रहे सो बे खबर रही खबर किया मुझे अब लिबास बरहनगी मुझे अब लिबास बरहनगी नखरद की बखिया करे रहे नखरद की बखिया करे रहे न जुनू की पर धरे रहे खबर तहयर चमन जहूर का जल गया के चमन जहूर का जल गया मगर एक शाख निहाल गम मगर एक शाख निहाल गम जिस दिल कहे सो हरे रहे खबरे दूर इश्क सुन खबरे किस जुबा से करूं बया गिला किस जुबा से करूं बया के शराब हसरत आर जू के शराब हसरत आर जू हमें दिल में थे सो भरे रहे खबरे दहर लिया दर से नुस खाए इश्क का लिया दर से नुस खाए इश्क का के किताब अकल की ताक पर के किताब अकल की ताक पर जो धरे थे तू ही धरे रहे खबरे तहर इश्क सुन खबरे तहर इश्क सुन तेरे जोश है हुसन क्या तेरे जोश हैर ते हुसन क्या असर इस कदर है जहाँ हुआ असर इस कदर है यहाँ हुआ के न आईना में जल रही के न आईने में जला रही न परे में जल वगरे रही खबरे तहर इश्क सुन शिक ने किए खाक आत शिक ने दिल बे नवाए से राज को दिल बे नवाए से राज को न खतर रहा न हजर रहा न खतर रहा न खतर रहा जो रहे सो बे खतरे रहे खबरे तहर इश्क सुन खबरे तहर इश्क सुन न जुनू रहा न परे रहे न तो तू रहा न तो मैं रहा न तो तू रहा न तो मैं रहा जो रहे सो बे खबरे रहे Inshallah, Nasheed number eight, page twenty-one on the Farsi book in the app. Maudar do jahan fatim jan dil pe to vastim, mohibban to hastim. 
دل به تو بستیم محبان تو هستیم نظر کن به انایت به فردای قیامت نظر کن به انایت به فردای قیامت ای روح علی جان نبی ام عبی ها تو ای حضرت زهرا فدای تو پیامبر به قربان تو حیدر فدای تو پیامبر به قربان تو حیدر ما در دو جهان فاطم جان دل به تو بستیم محبان تو هستیم دل به تو بستیم محبان تو هستیم نظر کن به انایت به فردای قیامت نظر کن به انایت به فردای قیامت ای رازی و مرزی و کاسر و تاها تو ای اسمت خوب را پناه همه عالم تو ای فاطم جانم پناه همه عالم تو ای فاطم جانم ما در دو جهان فاطم جان دل به تو بستیم محبان تو هستیم دل به تو بستیم محبان تو هستیم نظر کن به انایت به فردای قیامت نظر کن به انایت به فردای قیامت نظر کن به انایت به فردای قیامت انشاءالله نشید نمبر 30 پیج 84 on the Farsi book in the app سل على سيد الاسفياء سل على حجة الاولياء 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 خوش آمد شاه نقش بندی آمد جان جان آمد سل علا محمد نور حل خوش آمد شاه نقش بندی آمد جان جان آمد سل علا سید الاسفیا سل علا حجت الاولیا سل علا سید الاسفیا سل علا حجت الاولیا اللهم سلي على اللهم سلي على سيدنا محمد الفاتح لما أغلق والخاتم لما سبق ناصر الحق بالحق ناصر الحق بالحق والهادي إلى السرات كالمستقيم وعلى عليه حق قادره ومقداره العظيم ومقداره العظيم شاه نقش بن شاه نقش بن محمد اویس البخاری اویس البخاری اویس البخاری شاه نقش بن محمد شاه نقش بن محمد اویس البخاری اویس به 
Akdesh Baha Uddin Nanak Shbandi Ya Aziz O Ya Razak Ya Aziz O Ya Razak Behaq Shabaha Uddin Nanak Shbandi Rabbana 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 Iqfir Lana Rabbana 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 Iqfir Lana Rabbana Atena Rabbana Atena Wajh Jamal Ehu Wajh Jamal Ehu Behaq Shabaha Inshallah, the Kuali book, not number twenty-eight, page seventy-three. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Inshallah, you guys have uh, Salatul Maghrib there, so we'll break for Salatul Maghrib, inshaAllah, and then come right back after that, inshaAllah. Assalamu alaikum.
أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu anna Muhammadur Rasulullah, Ashhadu anna Muhammadur Rasulullah. Hayya ala salah, hayya ala salah, hayya ala al-falah, hayya ala al-falah. Qad qamat al-salat, qad qamat al-salah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, la ilaha illallah. Allahu Akbar Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Maliki Yawm ad-Din Iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nasta'in اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أنزلناه في ليلة القدر وما أدراك ما ليلة القدر ليلة القدر خير من ألف شهر تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم من كل يمر سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر 
الله أكبر سمي الله لمن حميد ربنا ولك الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اذا جاء نصر الله والفتح ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله يفواجا فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفر إنه كان توابا الله أكبر سمي الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر سمي الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله يا وهاب يا وهاب يا وهاب يا مسبب الأسباب يا مفتح الأبواب يا مقلب القلوب والأبصار يا دليل المتحيرين يا غياث المستغيثين يا حي يا قيوم يا ذو الجلال والإكرام أغفر بذمري لله إن الله بصير بالعباد الفاتحة
Inshallah. Fourth takbir gaya bana salatul janaza for all the people who passed away in the last 24 hours. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Ila sharaf al nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ila sa'iri sa'adatin wa siddiqin al-fatiha. journey of faith, every step is a doorway into discovery and connection. Enter the updated Muhammadan Way app, your Islamic companion made with the seeker in mind. Now enriched with over 30 innovative features. Dive into the wisdom of thousands of holy hadiths. Immerse yourself in the full holy Quran with comprehensive search, audio and multiple translations. Experience guidance at its best. Stay in tune with the Islamic events calendar. From du'as for every occasion to digital tasbih and prayer times. The app guides your daily practice. Add free. Join a global community of over 100,000 believers. With the Muhammadan Way app, embracing your faith has never been. Download the Muhammadan Way app today, available on iOS and Android. Your journey awaits. This is Sheikh Nurjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. Inshallah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Introducing Sheikh AI. The Sheikh AI bot is designed to embody the principles of Sufism in the digital realm. Providing guidance and wisdom, inspired by Maulana Sheikh Nurjan Marahmadi's teachings on spirituality, Islam, and the journey of the soul. The key benefits of this bot includes accessibility to the Sheikh's teachings at any time, helping seekers of knowledge to learn and grow in their spiritual path, compassionate and respectful responses aligned with the Sheikh's approach, 
fostering a loving environment for discussions on faith, a resource for learning about the practical aspects of Sufism and Islamic spirituality, offering insights into the journey towards divine love. This powerful tool is multilingual and able to converse in many languages. Imam Hussein, Sayyidatana Fatima, Wasail wa Sadatina, Wasidaqeena al Fatiha. Shabbat ya Rasul Kareem, Habib, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salam ashraf wa mursaleen. Fa'azu billahi min ash-shaytan alayhi wa bismillahir rahmanir raheem, Ati Allah, Ati Rasul wa ulul amri minkum. And it was a reminder for myself and Abdul Ajisa Da'ifu, miskeen, uzal, majahal. And but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence, alhamdulillah that Allah granted us uh, the blessed and holy month of Ramadan and the dresses of light and holy Qur'an and Allah granted us to enter into the holy month of Shahwal and the reality of ten. That once we become a, a nukht and a dot from the blessings of Ramadan that destroy all the bad characteristics and return the servant to the state of submission and taslim and to be purified as a result then Allah brings that dot into the presence of the One. SubhanAllah yasifun in presence of the Divinely Throne and the Throne of Izzati wa Jalalihi with might and majesty and the blessed month of Shawwal and the reality of this binary code in which Ramadan brings us to be a nothing. Ramadan is a reminder for the state of nothingness that to abstain with all our senses for the sake of our Lord and to purify the heart. And as a result the immense power of the holy month of Ramadan slows the believer down entirely and become hyper alert to a greater purpose of life. So that has the immense, immense reality that everything of this dunya it reduces itself to a kafan. That all the clothes we buy, all the jewellery we buy, the shoes we buy, everything that people are inspired to buy, to buy, to buy, to buy and in the end our life is just one kafan, one fabric that they wrap our dead body with and we go into the grave. And, and that we pray that we even get that kafan, that if you are blown up somewhere now on this earth you don't even have kafan. If you get thrown into the ocean the animals eat you and there's no kafan. Every type of calamity even occurs upon this earth and even you don't even get that kafan. So even the, the goal of, of understanding what awliyaullah were teaching that all that you acquire you won't take with you. So Ramadan is an immense power to slow everything down and it's a state of not only hunger and thirst, just the reality of abstaining how much the nafs becomes angered from any type of limitation or restriction. And it's the nafs that decides, I don't want to do anything, I'm not going to go out, I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to do that. And at the end when they have iftar for, for many people, many people work actually very hard in Ramadan and they truly they enjoy their iftar and their drink, they need it because they worked hard but many they didn't do any of that. And it seemed like it was hard and it was only the nafs just so upset that you put any type of limitation or restriction and it puts the brakes and slows everything down but at least even when the nafs plans Allah's plan is better that it gives the believer and the servant of Allah an opportunity to reconsider life and understand life. That all the excitement of acquiring and doing and achieving in the end is one 
garment that they wrap you with for death. And in such a dark and oppressive world we don't know even if we're going to get that. So it's a gift for the believer, the ultimate contemplation, the time for contemplation and a major power of seclusion. As a result of slowing life down we seclude ourselves with ourselves and contemplate and Allah puts into our heart to think about what are the important things in life. And alhamdulillah so many people from our group decided that the importance in life are charitable deeds and acts. And alhamdulillah wells and water and food and iftars and every day going and feeding, every day picking up thousands of pounds of food. This is Allah's sign of satisfaction for each of the people whom are achieving and doing these acts and for the collective whole that we all join together to make these things possible. And this is a, a great sign from Allah that He grants us the actions that are pleasing to Himself. For he could write many different actions that would not be pleasing to his Divine the Presence and not to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Allah's blessings and the Divine the Grace is when He gives us such a beatific rewards that I'm going to inspire these beatific acts and I'm going to write them for you and your people and the people whom are gathering for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad because I wish to reward you and as a result of that re the reward I'm going to dress you because now that you got the reward you're entitled to these Divinely lights and these Divinely dresses. And we know in our heart the reason for those rewards and those dresses is that Allah wants the people whom draw near to Sayyidina Muhammad to be beautiful. Means this is such an immense love that Allah has that I don't want the, the ones drawing near to Prophet to have any deficiency. And this is what people can't understand. These are the people whom have horrific comments and if, if you see how they try to attack us and our posts and our people but they don't understand the basic element of love. That when we take ourselves out of the equation that I'm not really important, I'm nothing, Ya Rabbi nothing and he says, yes of course you're nothing but Prophet is everything to me. And as a result because you're trying to be near to Prophet I want you to be beatific, I want your actions to be beatific, I want everything about you to be dressed by lights. So that when people look to Prophet and look to his nation they're amazed at the lights and the beatific realities that Allah has dressed upon them. And it's not because the nation has immense powers but they're immensely blessed for the sake of having Prophet in their midst. It's a result of that love that Allah has that makes us to be beatific, makes us to be dressed by lights, makes us to have these good accounts and good actions and good deeds so that to grant us the reward of drawing near to that Divinely Presence. Tell them that if they love me to draw near to you, to follow you. And as a result yuhibbukumullah and that becomes the secret of this love that when I dress them and bless them now they look beautific near your lights. They look like they're worthy to be near your lights as a result I love them. And this is a great reward of love that teaches us to be selfless. It's not about us, it's not about achieving. The people who have no mind and can't see it, they think it's something they have to individually achieve a rank in Allah's presence and we know it to be true there is no rank in Allah's presence. The only rank is Sayyidina Muhammad 
and the only rank is the proximity to the love and to the respect and admiration of Sayyidina Muhammad This becomes the importance of our life, this becomes the beatific dresses of our life and this becomes the beatific way. This way of majesty and respect and admiration that even when these people talk they don't put a salutation upon the name of Prophet That Prophet Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad al-Mustafa were talking about the king of all creations in, whose, in whom presence you can't even look. In, in the presence of Prophet that you can't even gaze upon that reality with the intensity of its lights that our whole life is this tashrif and respect and admiration that is an example in the physical world and it's unimaginable in the spiritual world. We pray that Allah continue to grant us these lights and this love and this ash and by virtue of those lights allows us to draw near to that Divinely Reality and the Divinely Presence of Allah's Izzat, Might and Majesty inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basiri Surat al-Fatiha. Shafiq Ya Rasul Kareem Alhamdulillah So the what we have from all our SMC family and Alhamdulillah As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Wa Alaikum Salaam wa Tullah Sayyidi how do we overcome fear and cowardice and be brave, strong and patient in the end times where the testing will be severe and fitna in every direction. Everything is inshaAllah related to the drawing near to Prophet <clears throat> The soul, <clears throat> the soul knows means that the, the reality of cowardice is linked to the soul. So when somebody and their physicality thinks that they have a strength but for the events that are coming the soul tells people that for what's coming your physical strength is not going to save you. And the only thing that will save you is your spiritual strength. So then how do we improve our spiritual strength? And that's why Allah inspires us, go follow these people of light. They speak what other people don't speak because they're from the world of light. That how are you going to build your soul? With these salawats, with the meditation, tafakkur, the contemplation, how to make the connection with the heart, with the soul. Why? So that the soul has a connection because the soul doesn't lie and it can't lie to you. Either the soul feels the connection, it starts to have a yaqeen and certainty where you say, I just know through my heart if you try to explain to dunya people, why are you with them? You can't explain through your head and, and mouth because they don't understand what your soul is feeling. And if you talk too much about it they think you're cuckoo. But it's a yaqeen and certainty that my soul is getting its sustenance. It feels its energy, it feels its purpose, it feels its connection and as a result of that certainty that we start to have within the soul, that's the strength. That's the strength when you feel that I'm drawing very close to this energy and to this reality. What is there to fear? How do you fight a people whom are eager for death? You can't. And that's what scares them. And they had people come out and they admit on social media, oh these are not the people that we can fight. These are people whom are spiritually powerful, they have a spiritual connection. 
They know that. That's when we talked to you about that uh, we came across the people whom their language they understood nothing. Anyone understand that if a language has no connection to the heavens, all that person says is going to go <laughs> nowhere. But if their language has a connection to the heavens, what they say, what they recite, what they breathe, what they understood of knowledges is connected. If it's connected, these are people whom have power. So the people whom wish to destroy us, they know this because they lost their connection and they decided to go with shayateen. So then how then would you come against the people whom have a connection? Disconnect them, disconnect them from their source of power. How do you disconnect them from their source of power? Have them to be disrespectful to Prophet That's your key. If anyone had learned anything from all our teachings is if one word in the wrong direction to the respect of Prophet you have no connection with Allah at all. Because Allah is based on manners. So somebody comes in front of you and talks bad to somebody you dearly love, right in front of you, you give them your power and connection? No. So the whole of adab is teaching and telling us. So shaitan knows, he tells these people, infiltrate them, make masjids for them, be them look like them, talk like them and teach them to come against their Prophet. Don't mention his name, make his role to be insignificant. And when you do mention his name it's utterly disrespectful. So everyone in life is a doctor, hey Bob, nobody does that. Police officer, hey David. Just mentioning a first name as if you're on the same level with them. Nobody in dunya does this, not for an authority, not for a prime minister, not for a, a doctor, not for anyone. That's why in every form they tell you salutation, what is your salutation? So hey, you see it, you see the signs in their masjid. When they quote hadith they quote Prophet by first name. As if buddies, this is a sign of bi ihtiram, bi adab. So that's why the system is coming out as a warning for you. Not every masjid is a house of Allah These men have infiltrated these places for the only purpose of taking the power of the believer away. So they show, they show on social media the people get up to give salat and salams to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and the men are sitting on the ground not wanting to get up and show ihtiram. Why? You go and smack them in the head and say, get up, what are you like a dog sitting like that? You have no manners. That the king of all creation is coming to give salams to his nation, who are these people who sit like that? That's why he said, then dogs outside. But since we can't do that, better not to go to the masjid like that. Because you be written by the anger of the angels. They see that? They say, be adab, be ataram. So then, this is why Allah says, Abadan, don't go where the angels are going to write bad things. If that didn't get you punishment and don't go to the place where every word they're going to be trying to disrespect Prophet and to bring the energy out so that you have a people 
who have no connection to the heavens. They can recite all they want but when their love and respect of Prophet ﷺ is gone, everything is gone. They mention in their social media, whatever we've been teaching they with their tongue come and say that. They want Medina, they want Mecca. They will enter into these areas to try to take these places. So everything is happening right now. So how the believer safeguards their energy? Keep the love of Sayyidina Muhammad safeguarded by watching online, staying at home. Anywhere you go there's an agent of deception. Somebody who comes and they feel it's their responsibility to disrespect the Prophet and to take that love from people's hearts and they get into weird and ridiculous debates. Muslim people who claim to be Muslim, they don't know maybe out of ignorance but either way they just put doubts and darkness into the hearts of people. So this is a time in which to safeguard the light, safeguard the love within the heart. If you feel this love for Prophet it's a great gift, keep it, protect it within the heart and, and nourish it. Like any other love and faith it's something that you have to nourish like a little candle. Make sure the wind that's coming is not trying to blow it out until your candle becomes a spotlight, until your spotlight becomes a sun and the sun becomes so powerful they can't blow it out and you can even spread the light into their hearts. So we have to reach to that level through the muraqabah, through the connection because you don't have your own light, you have to connect with the shaykhs to receive the fires and the emanation. These are the dressings coming from Prophet to his nation through the mirrors. So you have to find the mirror of Sayyidina Muhammad which are the ulul amr. And the ulul amr that talk about the love of Prophet inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Sayyidi, what are the dangers to care for when the hearing opens? The dangers to take? Careful when your hearing opens, yeah that you have to be careful because the hearing doesn't open without a lot of testing. So a lot of people who have mental issues they feel they can hear things. So we said that the hearing opens when you're somebody under extreme discipline, strong connection, lots of discipline, talk very little move very slowly because you're humble and scared to cross the line and to make bad character, bad choices. And these are people who have been tested, tested, tested. As a result their ears are reaching the stations of hearing where they hear their shaykh, they hear the higher consciousness and all the hearing is related to acts of worship. Now the other side is when they're mentally not well because last days everybody's uh, schizophrenic, bipolar and all of these dif different uh, issues. So they hear everything, they hear, tell these people they're wrong, tell uh, everybody and act like the shaykh, tell them this, give them this sobat, give them this, give them that and it's never about anything to themselves. So this level of hearing to open in sincerity is they never talk, they fix themselves, they listen to all of their bad characteristics, they try to, to you know annihilate all of the bad characteristics, they don't interact with people, definitely don't interact with the opposite sex of people because they have to keep a very strong level of purity. So this is a, a very different class of people, so that's, that's hard to achieve, samina watana. Right, because the shaykhs are watching them, Prophet is watching them, everybody. But the other type is then everything. They pretend like they hear everything, they know everything, they act like something 
And then they start to hallucinate from what they hear because shaitan has uh, access to their ears. And start saying, oh the shaykh telling me this, telling me that, the shaykh not telling you anything. This is, that's the devil whispering and, and telling you whatever he wants. And that could be limitless. So we have few people that come all over social media and start uh, attacking everyone and they say, yeah, yeah the, the sword of uh, Ali is telling me to do this and stay like this and it's just uh, rubbish. So 35 years of, of doing that we've seen the, the extreme danger of that. And then they start saying, yeah shaykh is telling me to… Oh, very, very bad things. And we have to even sit with some of the people and say, absolutely no, this is not what the shaykh said, I didn't say that, I didn't inspire that, this is just your bad character and you don't… they don't accept that. So the station of actually hearing is after a strong level of tafakkur and contemplation and the, the characteristics are like zuhud, very quiet because they're continuously sort of watching themselves, conscious of themselves, they, they don't need to bring attention to themselves, nothing. So these are different character of people and as a result of being highly observant over themselves then they're reaching a level of sincerity and purity inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Wa Alaykum As Salaam Wa Alaykum As I think you may have uh, kind of answered this one. Uh, how do we respond to people who mention Sayyidina Umar salam being harsh and direct as an excuse that we should be firm too. Yeah, we're nowhere near the station of Sayyidina Umar Farooq. So that's, that's not the characteristic and, and trying to use the holy companions to, to give a, an excuse for being hard and direct. So you're not generous like Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq in which you give your whole life and you're not going to be hard and, and straightforward because that hardness and straightness was based on a very high level of sincerity that was so sincere that could not stand any crookedness or any perceived notion of crookedness. But you have to have the chivalry of Imam Ali Salam, you have to have the generosity of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq. Then maybe you say, I'm so sincere and pious that I can't uh, tolerate any type of crookedness and you don't want to be guilty of a hypocrisy otherwise Allah put the rope on your neck where you go out and bother people and you yourself are doing horrible things. Because Allah knows what the person does at home and when they're by themselves. So hard to people is not the station that people can achieve. Because you have to be hard unto yourself. So be like Sayyidina Umar Farooq that you stand for the truth against every evilness but inside. Nahyu al munkar is meant for ourselves not outside people. Correct people where you see them, the tariqah comes first correct yourself. How you could dare to open your mouth on somebody when we don't put it against ourselves? So this becomes the danger, this becomes the… that's why the tariqah is saying, that's why the shaykh is opening up and saying, Ana abdukul ajisa da'ifu miskeenu zalimu jahad. So the shaykh knows of course we're ignorant. Anyone want to type in the comments, or oh, he doesn't know this, does it? Okay I just said at the beginning I'm ignorant. So well, what do you want from there? So I'm addressing myself, advising myself and when I make a, m a mistake I, I go at night and ask for my forgiveness and cry. But it's a continuous state of focusing on ourselves, so yeah that, that's impossible to achieve. That you had the chivalry of Imam Ali salam and you had the faith of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq as salam that you gave your whole life in this way, then you come to Qujjal Haqq that you stand for the truth and you're against every type of falsehood within ourselves, not upon outside people. So yeah this is… this is a, a inner path, be the companions inside ourselves. This is a great state if we can achieve their realities within ourselves or at least direct ourselves to, to be like them to whatever small drop that we can possibly achieve of their greatness. But that's the sickness of the outside people. You know they call themselves Salaf which is such a dangerously hypocritical title.
to think that you're close to anything like the companions. Because the salaf means that you're saying you're like the holy companions. And people look at your Facebook and say, are you serious? What's this? Go to their lives, they're gaming on their computer and every type of inappropriate images. And you really say you're salaf? Or no, no, to the people we say we're salaf and we act like we're salaf to people. That's just complete hypocrisy. And the leader of them, look what they're doing now. Rock concerts, alcohol license in the country, doing every type of uh, thing. This was the leader of their whole belief system. So, no, better to, to fight oneself and to bring the holy companions into ourself. And that their dress, their nazar, their characteristic make us to be real, real inheritors of the holy companions inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Wa Alaikum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah Like Ahad and Wahid are there some huh? like, ah, like Ahad and Wahid are there similarities between Salat and Salawat? That it, does establishing prayer also mean to establish Salawat? Yeah this is a good one I guess. <laughs> yeah the root of the, of the hurufs they give us the understanding of the similarities of what's trying to, to be achieved, right? In Allahi wa malaikatuhu yusalloon ala nabiyya yuhalladina aminu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslim. We say taslima, but taslima means to have a, a beatific a fragrance. But the reality is taslim. The luna the nabi, wa sallimu taslim. So pray and praise upon Prophet and taslim, submit. So no it's taslima, but you won't get taslima until you taslim. You won't get a beatific fragrance, taslima is a beatific fragrance. You don't get a beatific fragrance until you're somebody who taslim, submits. So pay, pray and pray upon the reality of Prophet and submit to the laws, the way, the sunnah, the reality of Prophet as a result you become beautifically fragranced. So then yeah the huruf is, is teaching us much higher levels of, of reality and the secrets within everything. Because the words we know like we said masjid it's a place of sujood but you think it's a house of worship. Well in your mind what does that mean house of worship? Uh, many people even have a different idea what house of worship is. So a place where everybody comes in sujood and at the head is mim for Muhammad So you come into a structure to worship Allah but it has to be a Muhammadan structure. So the people who study the usul and the law, everything inside the masjid is based on Muhammad Rasulullah right? So you're coming to worship Allah under the, the laws and reality of Muhammadun, the Muhammadan haqqaiq, member of Rasul, the, whoever is the imam has to follow the sunnah the most with the the appropriate beard, whoever is carrying the sunnah then is elected the imam. So imamiyah is based on Muhammadun Rasulullah So all of the, the masjid was based on the meme. So the people who come for sujood in the Muhammadan house that made to worship Allah You don't see that now, we said in the pictures now they don't even put the calligraphy on the walls. Because the people whom are impersonating they can't stand that power, they don't want that power there. Their purpose was to pull that power. So how are they going to put Muhammad Rasulullah 
So there's not masjid, it's not this place of sujood under the Muhammadan haqqaiq, it's something else. Maybe kanisa or something else. So yeah, the huruf it gives what Allah's flavor was when we understood these words because the heavenly reality is something completely different. And the highlight of these structures was sujood, the place to come and make sujood because the secret of salah is in sujood. The sujood is a meme in the huruf. Alif standing, ha ruku, meme is the sujood and the dal is tahiyyat. So even in the Muhammadan structure you pray with the huruf of Ahmad how many then of these realities people want to deny or all of them because they think we're crazy. They come attack the, the logo, they say, oh look they're putting birds, this is mushrik guy, this is mushrik guy, it's huruf. It's how can the calligraphy of Allah, Muhammad and Ya Ali, they don't understand what they're saying and thousands of uh, a thousand years of Islamic calligraphy in which you take Allah's beatific names and they would draw beatific images with Allah's names. Allah's name can never be mushrik, that's how ignorant and, and wild these people are. They say things that you know going to cause them immense difficulty, immense difficulty. One of the, the Shaykh Murad Hakim in, in London was giving the big majlis to the people because they don't believe anymore. He says, you have to be very careful in my travels. I travelled somewhere and a story came to us that a person just didn't like a particular shaykh. He printed out the picture, brought it to and was arguing with people. He took it on the floor and he started jumping on it and stepping all over it. And about six months had passed and he's, the shaykh is telling the story to this big jama'ah that he came back and he said that, you really don't know what happened after this six months of that incident that the, this person did these things, their whole life was destroyed. He had had car accidents in which his whole body was destroyed and paralyzed and maimed. Uh, he had lost all his job, lost everything in life and he was trying to explain to the audience that, you know, Allah loves some people. Some of his servants are very dear to him, Allah loves all his creation but there are some servants that if Allah's love is attached to them, these are not things you do. If you have good manners you don't like something, walk away, don't say anything, just say, I don't understand it and not for me. Like a good dinner, you know, you know even for food you're never supposed to make a negative comment. Oh, I don't like this, this was horrible. This you're supposed to say, Alhamdulillah, it was good, but uh, I would prefer maybe something else. If Allah is teaching us for food, don't insult. Imagine then for haqqaiqs and realities or ulama and shaykhs. And he was trying to explain to the jama'at that, no, this is very true. There are people who are very dear to Allah and when you do these types of foolish things, your, your whole life can go upside down. So this is again a, a bi ihtiram and no, no manners are being taught anymore and that's on purpose to take energy away, inshaAllah. Even the dog has better training. When we said the person doesn't stand up, he's like a dog, they, they corrected me and said, no the dog has good manners because even you get a dog and you tell him, sit down, sit. And the dog has, has a discipline to sit and, and get up and sit. But when humans don't have any discipline, horrible and, and, and immensely disrespectful to, to realities. So our life is about discipline, inshaAllah. As-salamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as
Similarly, we're seeing on, on the internet a lot of people also criticizing the Sahabi. Turn away from those. Again, something is trying to take your energy away. You're responsible for what you see, you know. As Allah gave you two eyes, like uh, uh, you know in a candy store think that you can just uh, look at anything you want. He also gave you a couple fingers. And isn't it interesting how Allah gave to us that when you die, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to seal your mouth. Only now we understand that because everybody's mouth is going to try to explain their actions. But he says, I'm going to ask your fingers to testify. Now people have fingers have changed. You know this, this finger on the pinky? They say because you hold your phone now like this, the bone on this changed. So everybody can look at their finger here, it has an indent now. Even the fingers are changing <laughs> because of these technologies. How Allah said, I'm going to have your fingers talk. People but they didn't do too many things with their fingers at those times but now our life is just with fingers. It's going to make the fingers talk and say, why you didn't turn away? You sat there and just listened to them uh, attacking the companions? Turn away from this garbage, these are, these are the shaitan with all his tattoos and everything. He didn't fix himself, he didn't uh, obey Allah's commands and now he want to talk about the holy companions. He's one of those that going to get hit in the head. These are, these are dirty nasty people that you first fix yourself, bring yourself into the accordance and to the laws of Allah before you try to give advice to other people. So these are just distractions of shayateen that you know turn away, turn away from these because you keep your faith and love like something that you cherish. Just because you have two ears doesn't mean you have to listen to everything. And definitely because you have two eyes you're not supposed to see everything. That's what we said was the Ramadan, fast with your eyes, fast with your ears. Because something now is coming from the Dajjal, right? He's going to destroy the eyes of people because he's coming in six directions. If he takes your eyes, he's going to empty your heart from any spiritual energy. If he takes your ears, is going to enter into the, your soul because the ears are the reality to the soul. So if you don't know these two, the two openings then we don't understand where he's attacking us. So we said the ears are going to be what? The door to your soul. If you keep them clean then when you listen to salawat you begin to cry and you can feel yourself in the presence of Medina to Munawwara because the shaykh will take and pull out your soul and like a door. So you're going to come in, in and out through the power of your hearing. Oh the shaitans are not happy with that so he said, how about if I just throw all sorts of garbage into your ears, unnecessary they, they like, they like this all sorts of facts that you don't need to know, you don't you didn't ask for knowing it and it's not your business to know it. Then when you want to take your soul and bring you into the presence of Prophet make your eyes to be dirty. If your eyes are dirty what you're going to see? You're not going to see Raza Sharif, you're going to see every dirtiness that he threw into your eyes because that burns onto your heart. You close your eyes you can't get rid of that image, it stays on your heart. Now instead of being a Medina to Munawwara you're, you're somewhere else and that's exactly what shaitan wanted. So don't give them the benefit, this is a Jihad al-Akbar. You know people want to fight the devil, first fight the devil inside. Fight the devil with your ears and fight the devil with your eyes so that these realities can open and achieve spiritual power, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam Regarding your talk about the 70 trillion volts, how do we direct 70 trillion volts to something? You don't have 70 trillion volts, you have a shaitan next to you so how are you going to direct 70 trillion volts to anything? 
The whole talk wasn't that we have 70 trillion volts, the talk was that we are capable of 70 trillion volts but the shaitan next to us took it all. With every bad action he's pushed the energy down, pushed the energy down, pushed the energy down until people have 10 volts. So 10 volts they can barely get out of the bed in the morning. You know most of the youth now they don't literally have more than 10 volts because they get out of bed they go back into bed. Why? Because they just don't feel any energy anymore to move. Well how many volts you think the person has like that? So no doubt shaitan has pulled their energies. So that, that's you know that's the big fight. So again we just said if you're listening, hearing all these different attacks shaitan is depleting all the energy from the believer. Pull out of the head, they have no head cover. Pull out of their ears, they're listening wrong. Pull out of their eyes, they're seeing wrong. Pull it out of their mouth, they're speaking wrong. Prophet described last days the people would have a, a way of talking very nasty and very bad and they would be very happy about that. And that's exactly what is happening now, just the language and the, the energy of the mouth has become so foul and so bad. So they speak bad, they talk bad, every other word is, 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 is bad. Why? Because of the negative energies and that's why people don't understand energy. If you're filled with negative energy in your mouth, in your heart, in the food that you ate, you're going to manifest the negative energy. So we said before people had energy and in spiritual places all of a sudden wasps were appearing. You don't see it coming from them but all of a sudden in the room there were wasps because energy manifests. So somebody with negative energy from what they eat, what they breathe uh, or what they see, what they hear, they're going to manifest these words, cursings, cursing, cursings because it's, it's lahnat, it's a curse upon themselves. And that's what shaitan wants, you're making lahnat against yourself. You're not cursing other people, when you talk bad it's a curse against you. Imagine what's being written now in the books of the servant. That instead of reading and writing haqqaiqs all they're writing are cursings. What type of weight that has now on the book, how does it darken and destroy the book of the, of the soul? For all of eternity they carry that. So then we can see how a horrible, horrible time that we live in and the one whom curses the best and curses the fastest, they give him hundred million dollars and the microphone. And they call him a singer. So they reward the one whom curses the worst, curses the fastest, curses the most. They give him here, you get all the money on earth. So this, this is a crazy time that we're living in. And that's when Prophet described the worst of people would be elevated, why? The one who can talk the worst, speak the worst, most vulgar, most rude, most uh, horrific character, shaitan pays them to be vulgar, to be uh, horrific, to be bad. And then Prophet described they'll be raised. Yeah because shaitan is paying them, of course they're raised. And the ones whom are good they'll be persecuted and prosecuted and uh, hunted and taken advantage of. And these are the people whom believe in the heavens and the only religion on this earth is Islam and that's why then their battle is against the heavens. There's no other heavenly religion. As alaikum Sayyidi Wa alaikum as salam Sayyidi, how do we keep the guilt and shame of not being able to do as well as we would like in our practices from causing profound sadness and frustration when we have so much pressure? I don't know. These are poetic people that have dramatical expressions of, of grief and, and and uh, formal fear of missing out. 
that, oh, all these realities I could have achieved all these things. Okay, but we're not a dramatic people, we're a realistic people, so go work hard and donate. At night sit there and start sharing uh, articles and sharing this and sharing that. Why is it so hard? I don't understand what people are talking about that it's something is hard. I can't do all this, I can't do all… what can you do? Can, do you do work? Do you eat? Do you do anything to, to go get some money and give a donation? Sit at night and start sharing articles. So what is it that people wanted to achieve? It's so easy to achieve now. So I don't have any skills like all the people. Okay, but yeah you don't have to compete with those people. You can have like the amazing skills of sharing. And we have some people on, on, on Facebook literally sharing everything. Everything, everything, everything sharing. Or they're now doing graphics. People who are sitting amongst you now are doing graphics. Nobody knows their name on the accounts but they're doing animation. They're putting out the images, they're putting out some uh, text from the AI. Everybody has a, has a way of serving Allah So how is it that people can say, I'm, I'm falling short or falling behind? There's no falling behind. You just have to say, I'm going to do it and I'm going to do it from what Allah gave. Don't look in front of you what other people are doing, just busy yourself with yourself and leave the drama. The whole world is doomed, everything is bad, nothing's happened for me. Leave, leave all the drama, just do what you have to do and start tomorrow as a fresh day and achieve what you have to achieve, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. Sayyidi, how do we clean the bad images that are burned onto our heart? Can we get rid of them or is it permanent? No, you have to get the meditation book and study the meditation book on how to clean the eyes, how to clean the energy and uh, how to, to wash the soul when uh, bathing and showering so that the water comes and, and washes away all the negative images that uh, are affecting the heart. Otherwise it uh, builds upon the heart and causes difficulty within the heart. So these are the different tools that we're given and that's why you get the book on meditation, how to meditate, the book on energy, on what's the reality of energy, how to build it or how to lose it. So anybody interested in these subjects they would be studying it or you can take it from our website. If you don't want to get the book go to the website and go to the section on energy and then read all the related articles on, on energy because all the articles are on the website. We compiled it as a book for ease of use but definitely everybody has free access to everything. So people say, oh they sell books, that's a… no, we put the books to make it easier but everything is for free on the website. So anybody can take the PDF, save them, print them out and basically you can compile the book just through the PDFs and the articles on the website. So everything, everything is always open and free. But if we compile it and we take the time and effort to compile it then yes they're going to sell it and try to make something off of it. But all of these uh, knowledges are there on the website and accessible for everyone and anyone as long as there's an internet. Now if uh, people in, the, uh, in other parts of the world go down and cut the internet then <laughs> we won't have any broadcast either, yeah. So for as long as the internet is available then alhamdulillah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salaamu ala mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Shahad ya Rasul Kareem. Shalat Jummah Mubarak to everyone inshaAllah, baniyata khatmi khawjika. Fa'awzu billahi min ash-shaitanir radeem, bismillahir rahmanir raheem. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh. Ashhadu an la ilaha astaghfirullah 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 astaghfirullah
ارحم يا الله اللهم يا مسبب الاسباب يا مفتح الابواب يا مقلب القلوب والابصار يا دليل المتحيرين ويا غياث المستغيثين يا حي يا قيوم يا ذو الجلال والاكرام وافوض امري الى الله إن الله بصير بالعباد رابط الشريف إن سورة فاتحة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إذن الصراط المستقيم الصراط الذي أرمت عليهم وإذن المغضوب عليهم ولا ضالين آمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين مستقیمہ صراط اللہ تھی نرم تعلیہم غیر المغضوب علیہم ولدوالین آمین بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب العالمین الرحمن الرحیم مالک یوم الدین ایاک نعبد و ایاک نستعین ایدنا صراط المستقیم صراط اللہ تھی نرم تعلیہم غیر المغضوب علیہم ولدوالین آمین بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب العالمین الرحمن الرحیم مالک یوم الدین ایاک نعبد و ایاک نستعین ایدنا صراط المستقیم صراط اللہ تھی نرم تعلیہم غیر المغضوب علیہم ولدوالین بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب العالمین الرحمن الرحیم مالک یوم الدین ایاک نعبد و ایاک نستعین ایدنا صراط المستقیم صراط اللہ تھی نرم تعلیہم غیر المغضوب علیہم ولدالین آمین صلوات اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی آل محمد و سلم اللہم صلی علی محمد و سلم اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی آل محمد و سلم اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی آل محمد و سلم اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی آل محمد و سلم اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی آل محمد و سلم اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی آل محمد و سلم اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی آل محمد و سلم اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی آل محمد و سلم اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی آل محمد و سلم سورین شرح بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم حلم نشرح لکا صدرک ووضعنا انکا وزرک اللذی انقل ظہرک ورفعنا لکا ذکرک وَإِنَّ مَا الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَ إِنَّ مَا الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَ فَإِذَا فَرَقْتَ مَنْ سَبَّ إِلَى رَبِّكَ فَرَوَ اللَّهُ وَإِكْرَ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَدِ الرَّحِيمِ أَلَمْ نَشْرَحْ لَكَ صَدْرَكَ وَوَدْعَنَا عَنْكَ وِزْرَكَ الَّذِي أَنْكَضَ ظَهْرَكَ وَرَبَانَا لَكَ ذِكْرَكَ فَإِنَّ مَا الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَ إِنَّ مَا الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَ فَإِذَا فَرَقْتَ مَنْ سَبَّ إِلَى رَبِّكَ فَرَوَ اللَّهُ وَإِكْرَ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَدِ الرَّحِيمِ أَلَمْ نَشْرَحْ لَكَ صَدْرَكَ وَوَدْعَنَا عَنْكَ وِزْرَكَ الَّذِي أَنْكَضَ ظَهْرَكَ وَرَبَانَا لَكَ ذِكْرَكَ فَإِنَّ مَا الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَ إِنَّ مَا الْعُسْرِ 
آل محمد وسلم اللہم بلک فباب ما کرأناہ و نور ما تلوناہ حدیتا واسلتا مننا الى روح نبینا سیدنا محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم وید ارواح اخوانی من الانبیاء والمرسلین وخد ماء شراعیہم وید ارواح لائمت الاربعا وید ارواح مشاکنا فی الطریق دنکش بندیت العالیہ خاصتا الى روح امام الطریق و غوث الخلیق خواجہ بہاو دنکش بند محمد الوسیل بخاری وائلہ سلطان دول یہ مولانا شیخ عبداللہ فائز داگستانی وائلہ سلطان دول یہ مولانا شیخ محمد نازم عادل حقانی و مولانا شیخ محمد عادل مولانا سید شیخ نور جان میر احمدی صاحب الزمان سیدنا محمد المہدی علیہ السلام و روح اللہ سیدنا عیسیٰ علیہ السلام و سیف اللہ سیدنا علی علیہ السلام و علیہ السائر ساداتنا صدقین الفاتحہ فَلَمَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَا إِلَّا اللَّهِ 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 لَا إِلَهَا
sallallahu Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah Alayhi salawatullah La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah Alayhi salawatullah La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Habibullah Alayhi salawatullah La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Habibullah Alayhi salawatullah La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Khalilullah Alayhi salawatullah La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Khalilullah Alayhi salawatullah La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Safiullah Alayhi salawatullah La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Safiullah Hug, 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 hug,
ya Allah ya aman ya aman ya aman ya Allah ya Allah ya Allah ya Allah ya Allah بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم 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 بسم الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم 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 بسم الله الرحمن حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل نعم المولى ونعم النصير ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم يا غالبا غير مغلوب 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 يا شاهدا غير مغيب يا شاهدا غير مغيب يا شاهدا غير مغيب يا قاربا غير بعيد يا قاربا غير بعيد يا قاربا غير بعيد يا غالبا غير مغلوب يا غالبا 
غیر مغلوب یا غالبا غیر مغلوب صلوات اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی آل محمد و سلم اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی آل محمد و سلم اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی آل محمد و سلم اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی آل محمد و سلم اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی آل محمد و سلم اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی آل محمد و سلم اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی آل محمد و سلم اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی آل محمد و سلم اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی آل محمد و سلم اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی آل محمد و سلم صلی اللہ ربی و صلی جمعی انبیاء و مرسلین و کل اجمعی محمد اللہ رب العالمین الى شرف النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى أصحاب الكرام وعلى مشايخنا في طريقة نشبانية العالية خاصة شأن نشبان محمد ويسا البخاري ستعاون لي الشيخ عبد الله فايز الدغستاني سنشي محمد نازم عبد الحكاني مالنا نشيخ الشام كباني الشيخ عدنان كباني الشيخ محمد عادل محمد خالق الخلش دواني صاحب زمان سيد محمد المهدي عليه السلام روح الله سيدنا عيسى عليه السلام سيف الله سيدنا عليه السلام ثم سيدنا بكر صديق سيدنا عمى سيدنا غسمان امام الحسن علیہ السلام، امام الحسین علیہ السلام، سیداتنا فاطمہ علیہ السلام و سائر و سعداتنا و صدقینا الفاتحہ ملکہ شفہ دیا رسول کریم حمدللہ رب العالمین انشاءاللہ جو مبارک دے ایوان اللہ عزیز و جا جس ایوان، بلیس ایوان اور فرگیف می انشاءاللہ وی سی ایوی بیدی تمار نائٹ السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. Inshallah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.